Hello and welcome back. This is the last video in the four-part series about the vocabulary in part 12 of the N400. This section is about the Oath of Allegiance. So very important here, if you answer no to any of these questions in this section, include a typed or printed explanation on additional sheets of paper and provide any evidence to support your answers. Okay, this is a little different in this section because questions 1 through 44 in part 12 said if you answer yes, then you need to provide an explanation. However, these, you if you answer no to any of these questions, include a typed or printed explanation. So be very careful here. Okay, first question. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Our form of government is a democracy and you should definitely answer yes to this question. Okay, the Oath of Allegiance. The Oath of Allegiance is a formal and serious promise to be loyal to the country. It's a promise to be loyal. An oath is a promise. Allegiance is loyalty. So it's a promise to be loyal. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? If you say yes, you need to know what the oath of allegiance is. Again, an oath of allegiance is a promise to be loyal to the United States. Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance? Vocab word here is bear arms. Bear arms means to carry a gun or other military weapon. Bear arms. The question here is if the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Okay. Some people do put no to this because it is against their religious beliefs. If you choose to put no to this question, Please make sure you provide an explanation and also documentation from your place of worship that states you um, that it is against the religion. Okay, don't forget. Perform non-combatant services. This means do work with the armed forces that does not involve fighting. For example, work as a nurse or in an office. Okay. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Non-combatant services. Perform work of national importance under civilian direction. That means do work that is important to the country. For example, help during a national disaster such as a hurricane or tsunami or an earthquake. And here it says under civilian direction. A civilian is a person that is not in the armed forces or police services. So it's under civilian direction. The question is, if the law requires it, are you willing to perform, perform work of national importance under civilian direction? And that's it. This concludes our four-part vocabulary series for part 12 on the N400. If you have questions about other vocab words, please list them below in the comments, and we'll be sure to get back to you.